the swamis of chitrapur an illustrated series in 10 episodes based on the guru parampara charitra आफ्रत महासमाधिय परिज्ञानाश्रम स्वामीजी द्वितीय शंकराश्रम स्वामीजी द्वितीय असेंड द पीठ ही बिकेम द फोर्थ मठाधिपति ऑफ श्री चित्रापुर मठ स्वामीजी लव्ड मल्लापुर इट वॉज द विलेज ऑफ हिज बर्थ वेर ही हैड स्पेंट हिज चाइल्डहुड इयर्स इट वॉज ऑल्सो द होम टू सम वेल एस्टैब्लिश्ड एंड डिवाउट सारस्वत फैमिलीज The quiet divine place abounded in trees, hillocks and pastures. The perfect place for spiritual pursuits. A mart was constructed for Swami ji's use. Shankarasham Swami ji spent many hours in intense anushthana. He was adored for his tranquil nature and revered for his wisdom and learning. Devotees sought his counsel and looked forward to his pravachanas. They spoke of him as the avatar of Dattatreya. The villages in coastal Karnataka have always borne the fury of monsoons with non-stop rain for months on end. Swami ji when at Malapur no matter what the weather would bathe in the Padgani river. But miraculously During the monsoons whenever Swami ji went to the river for his snana the rains would stop the rains would begin again only after Swami ji returned to the mart some years passed the saraswats appealed to Swami ji to adopt a shishya Swami ji agreed the young shishya was chosen from the talgeri family of kandlur ancestry The shishya swikar was performed with great ceremony in 1781 CE. Flower sambatsara on Magh Shuddha Dashami. The shishya sami was named Keshavashram. Shankarasham Swami ji was often racked with fever and uncontrollable shivering. A householder happened to see swami ji during his anushthana the danda kept beside swami ji was covered with the upper cloth and was shivering the man was astounded later the householder approached swami ji and inquired about the strange phenomena he had witnessed my anushthanas are both necessary and important when unwell i cannot perform my anushthanas easily So I transfer my fever to my danda during anushthan. Once I have completed my anushthan, I take the fever back. Swami ji, why not keep the fever in the danda at all times? You need not suffer then. I am touched by your concern for me, my child. But all mortals have to bear the effects of their prarabdha. I only do what is needed to perform my anushthan. Shankarasham Swami ji always prefer to have paas that is rice gruel for his bhiksha after his anushthanas once since it was the samaradhana day of parinyanasham swami ji dvitiya the shishya keshavasham swami ji instructed the cooks to not make paas that day and to quickly prepare the many dishes as are done on special occasions guru swami came down for the paas to the bhojan shala as usual and realized it had not been cooked swami ji the shishya swami told us to prepare the naivedya for the samaradhana so we began to do that and have not cooked the paas that's all right go ahead with your work the guru swami then left the bhojan shala to go back to his room when the cooks dropped the vada batter into the bubbling hot oil oh Why is the batter sinking to the bottom and not rising up? Check to see if the flames are strong enough. But the flames cannot get any stronger. The oil is already very hot. The cooks went running to the Shishya Swami in alarm. 
This is nothing but Swami ji's leela. Go to him for a solution. The cooks rushed to Shankar Ashram Swami ji. Swami ji smiled. <laughs> when there is an unappeased fire in my stomach, how will the heat even reach the vadas? The cooks went quickly to the bhojan shala to prepare the gruel for Shankar Ashram Swami ji and soon served him his bhiksha. Once Guru Swami's bhiksha was done, the vadas rose in the oil, crisp and golden. It was early in the year. Though unwell, Shankarasham Swami ji had travelled from Shirali to Gokarn, crossing the mighty river Sharavati to pay his respects at the Samadhi Sannidhi of Paridnyanasham Swami ji Pratham. On his way back, he halted at Kumta where many devotees from Malapur had come for Swami ji's darshan. They requested Swami ji to come to Malapur and stay there to recover. Swami ji accepted the invite and went to Malapur. A few days later, in 1785 CE, Vishwavasu Samvatsara on Magha Shuddha Tritiya, Swami ji attained Mahasamadhi. To this day, paz is offered every day as naivedya at Shankarasham Swami ji's Samadhi Sannidhi at Malapur. Devotees in difficulties offer paz as special seva and pray for his grace. The archak of the Swami Narsimha Saraswati Temple in Narsobawadi, Kolhapur was in deep distress. He started praying to his Swami, who was considered to be the avatar of Lord Dattatreya himself. Swami Maharaj, my son and I are both unwell. Medicines have failed us. Please restore our family's health and well-being. Swami Narsimha came to the archak in his dream. Go to Mallapur. It is a small village near Kumta. Offer your respects to the Samadhi of the Saraswat Guru, Shri Mat Shankara Shram Swami Ji. He is none but my own avatar. The Archak, his wife, and their son left immediately for Mallapur. At the mart, they did the Pradakshina Seva, offered other sevas at the Sannidhi, and partook of the Tirtha and Prasada. They stayed for a few days in Mallapur. While there. they recovered completely the family then joyfully made their way back to narsobawadi shankarasham swami ji dvitiya had attained mahasamadhi in 1785 ce pandurangasham swami ji renovated the mart and the samadhi sannidhi in 1868 ce when the stone covering the samadhi site was shifted the devotees who had gathered around was stunned at the fragrance that wafted from the sacred site the flowers and the leaves of the bilwa and tulsi placed in it 83 years earlier was still fresh offering tranquility and seclusion for intense anushthana the guru mart has always been a beloved kshetra to every acharya in the parampara विनाश वरदातिशत्रैगुणक दोषरहित विशेष योगाभ्यास कुमति विनाशक केशवाश्रम पूजिता घ्रिविरोष मोह विदारिताशा पाश हर शंकराश्रम सुविलास सदुरव नम